Here we go guys. Herd beginner race series. Starting in seven seconds. Gonna just watch them and do a little video recording. Looks like Mike is recording as well. And they're off. Who am I gonna follow here? Jump in with EP. Looks like Nathan's right there too. Let's see who. Got Nathan. And I'm seeing on my list. And Noah. Like those guys are all pretty much up front. Albert a little bit farther back here. Let's see how he's doing. Looks like he's uh, still at the back end of a long line. Back up to the front group here. Following Noah. Looks like Albert's just a little bit off the back of the main group. Back here with Albert in 35th place, so he's in, looks like the third group actually. There's a DDC rider in here. One of the gals. Not sure who it is. Uh, Mitchell Prey. Back up at the front group here. Looks like we've got most of our guys up front following Nathan now. Back of that group following Jeff Gimmer. Looks like there's about 25 guys in this front group. Look fine to me, Nathan. You're P6. Okay. Front group.
Looks like there's about 25 guys in that front group, guys. Back to Albert's group here. Looks like the two groups. Like we got two groups. They're formed up pretty good, but another big group coming up behind this second group. Watching Albert here, he's in P30, 28. So yeah, it looks like there's about 24 guys up in the front group. And they're about 15 to 20 seconds off the front. Looks like they're just hitting the leg snapper, so let's go up front and take a look at how they're doing. Right along with Jeff here. That keeps moving up. Moving right up to the front. It's like Noah. Sitting in second place, sitting on the wheel of the cryogen guy. Should we have it? Might be a little bit. Definitely stringing out the front group here. Jeff and Brad are hanging out in ninth and tenth. Just a little gap off of the very front group, and everybody else is stringing out like crazy. Go back and see where Albert is. It looks like Albert got split off and is by himself. Towards the top of the leg snapper. See how Nathan's doing. Looks like we got Nathan and Jeff and Noah in a little bunch here in the 8th, ninth, and 7th, 8th, and ninth place. There's a couple guys about 3 seconds off the front of them. And then we've got Brad about 3 seconds off of this little group. Drop back and watch Brad here. Brad's with one other guy trying to work towards the front. There's another little group a couple seconds behind them. One Spokane physical therapist, whoever that is, he's an OTR guy, it looks like to me.
now we've got four or five guys all together now with Brad one Spokane trying to lead up to that next pack up front looks like there's about a six second gap let's go look and see Nathan's in the next little bunch in P11 These things are flattening off so it's kind of split into three distinct groups and then it's carnage behind that so got some really strong guys here in this uh, first chase group though let's go see who we have right up front Looks like EP's up in that front group. So here we are with the front group. It looks like the top six or seven guys. Got EP up there for sure. And then Brian Huang, I believe, is up there with them. And it looks like Noah and Nathan and Jeff's group is about 15 seconds behind now. 12, 13 seconds behind. Take a look at Brian here for a sec. Yeah, we got six guys in this front group. Looks like the gaps are remaining fairly constant. Uh, these six guys are actually a little bit larger group than the group behind. Let's take a look back at them. Watching Noah here. Looks like he's trying to lead those guys out. Going 5-5 five, five watts per kilogram. Trying to pull them on up to that next group. Looks like these guys are five guys so very similar sized groups and then there's another group just six seconds back let's go see who's back there looks like Brad is in that group and looks like they've got about six guys as well so three very similar sized groups and about six or seven seconds between the third group and the second group and then behind the third group it's at least 25 26 seconds and and growing from there so it looks like it's been split up into these three groups at this point so we'll just have to see if any of that comes together let's move back up to Nathan and Noah and that group we've got Jeff is in with these guys too so we got three OTR guys looks like that Lovejoy character for RTR is in there and one more guy who's the, who's the last guy here G South these guys are tearing along about 45 kph looks like they're keeping that gap pretty constant but it's going to be hard to gain ground on these other guys looks like maybe a little split up front let's run up there and take a look and see what's going on let's jump in with ep sosnowski here so yeah it looks like got brian huang going off the front solo Let's take a look at Brian. So Brian's off the front solo. Rear view, so he's got a little bit of a gap, only about one second. Just making it hurt a little bit there.
drop back with EP here and check it from his view. He's sitting on the wheels there, not chasing down his teammate. Looks like these guys have opened up the gap just a little bit to that next group with Noah and Nathan and Jeff in it. We've got two OTR boys in this front group. Looks like they're just about to reel in Brian. No, another guy. Looks like uh, Torreson from Cryo is trying to bridge up. EP is staying back on the wheel of Jens Henson. And we've got an Irishman here, M. Considine. He's taking the front, throwing down some power, trying to bridge up to those two leaders. So the two leaders are together now, Brian. and P. Torreson. Swing back and see how Nathan and Noah's group are doing. Looks like they're dropping back a little bit more, about 20 seconds, and then they've gained about 6 or 7 seconds on the third group. So it's splitting up into three really distinctive groups here. and doesn't look likely that it's all going to come back together anytime soon. Like these guys are working well together, but they're just losing ground slowly. Let's see if we can take a look at what Brian's doing in the front. With Patrick Torreson here from Great Britain on the cryogen team. So it looks like these guys have about a four second gap on the four chasers. So looks like EP is in that group behind. Brian Soldier in the head here across the cobbles at 7.4 watts per kilogram. Putting a little bit of herd on Patrick. Patrick's bumping up into orange numbers now, trying to keep that group from chasing him down. Looks like EP's kind of just sitting on, not, not chasing down his teammate like he should. And there's still about a 20 second gap to the group behind with no in it. Drop back here and watch EP and see what his view's looking like. Doing an excellent job just sitting on the wheels of that, not chasing down Brian. These guys with only four may give the opportunity for that group behind of five to to make up some ground on him. EP jumps on the front here with the feather. Looks like he's going to put the hammer down and maybe try to bridge on up and gap these guys that he's riding with. So we might end up having four distinct groups here. Yeah, EP putting the hammer down. 600, 700 watts, almost 800 watts. Orange numbers. Flores and the guys behind are putting out orange numbers trying to catch them and stay with them. Looks like EP's got that gap down to four seconds between him and Brian, trying to catch them before they hit the top. The guys behind have splintered into EP and then a group of two, Flores and Considine, and then 
Jens Henson, a little bit, another five seconds back in no man's land. So he'll likely quickly get gobbled up by that group of five chasing behind Noah and Nathan and Jeff Gamar. So Brian did not quite make it up, or I'm sorry, EP did not quite make it up to Brian and Patrick, but he's only four seconds behind. And then there's a three second gap, so he's putting down big numbers still at over six watts per kilogram, trying to catch those guys in the front, but they're putting the power down as well. So it might be prudent for Brian to sit up a minute, let EP catch him so they can have two to one odds on that front group. Just got to be careful not to let the following group catch on. Let's take a drop back here and look and see how things are looking with the the main chase group. Follow Noah here. Looks like these five guys are all still together putting the hammer down, but they are still 20 seconds, 22 seconds behind Jens Hansen. If they can work together, they can probably at least get him reeled in. And then the next group up the road is almost 30 seconds ahead now. i got to think these guys will be able to reel in Hansen at least and get, make it a group of six, which will give them more firepower to chase down the guys up front. And they've got about 20-odd seconds on the chase group behind now. Let's take a look and see who might be in that group. We can find Brad, see how he's doing. Here's Brad in a little group of four. Looks like uh, Spokane Physical Therapy got gapped. He's in no man's land about 13 seconds off these guys. The leg snapper must have put him off a little bit. And then there's a herd of blazing bidets just a three seconds ahead of these guys. Brad's putting down some power trying to chase them down since he's by himself on the team now. Other guys are sitting in. Looks like they'll probably catch this one rider in front and then it's about 25 seconds up to uh, that first chase group up front. So let's bounce up and see how those guys are doing. Uh, while we're back here, let's look Albert. See how Albert's doing. Looks like he's back. A minute and something back. Looks like uh, trying to come together with another little group here that might give him some guys to ride with. Hang in there, buddy. Let's bounce up here and see how Noah's group's doing. Looks like these guys are all still together. Doesn't look like they've caught Hansen yet, but they're only 17 seconds behind him now. Uh, he's putting down big numbers, so he's working really hard by himself to try to stay out there by himself, doing 4.6, 4.7 watts per kilogram. But these five are definitely working it hard together. Noah, Jeff, and Nathan. taking pulls, putting the hammer down, trying to not let the race go completely out of control for them. Let's bounce up and see how Brian's doing up front. Looks like 